Hi there everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome to a bookshelf tour because I honestly have no other clue what to film so I'm just going to film this. Yes. Um, up top is all my favorite books slash graphic novels and stuff that doesn't really go anywhere else. Here's my mythology shelf slash misc books I need to read before shelving them somewhere else. Plays slash poetry. Science fiction, fantasy, mass market paperbacks, slash screenplay books. Um, classics are over there, um, along with young adults and my historical fiction. That is not in my favorites. I forgot to mention that up here I have a lot of my DVDs, some uh, middle grade fiction, entire Cirque du Freak series, and then the beginnings of the Larton Krepsley series and college textbooks over there. My Wind Waker poster. Up here we have Harry Potter and History by Nancy R. Reagan. It's Harry Potter related to history around the world. There's my college textbook, A World of Ideas. It's just great stories and essays that everyone should kind of read. Doctor Who and Philosophy. The Dalek Project and the Only Good Dalek, which is a Doctor Who graphic novel. Um, below that we have The Walking Dead volumes 1 through 7. Um, a Fairy Tale Life and The Ripper, which are Doctor Who graphic novels as well. We have The Seven Lady Godivas, which is Dr. Seuss's first adult book. Um, here we have the Pilgrims of Plymouth Rock, which is just a picture book. So if I ever get into teaching, I can use that. Got it for free, so that's why I still have it. I have a couple of magazines. Virgin, the official illustrated movie companion. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess official player's guide. That's nice. Essentials of Human, Human Communication, which was another textbook this year. Writings from high school. And then this is my comic collection. Just put them all in page protectors and put them all in that binder. A couple candles here that never burn in here. Just keep them in here because I have nowhere else to put them. This is his favorite books now. We have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Book Thief by Mark Azusa, Out of the Easy and Between Shades of Grey by Rudith Zapetis, Key by Tatiana de Rodsney, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton, The Color Purple by Alice Walker, The Tao of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Definitive Edition of Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. We also have my holiday zoom camera from the 1970s. We have this shelf that you couldn't really see before, so let's get into this. Over here, I just have a couple of random books. We have the first book in the series of Unfortunate Events. Um, then we have Warriors Into the Wild by Aaron Hunter. My name is Mina and I love the night. Anything seems possible at night when the rest of the world has gone to sleep by David Allman. The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. An amazing book. Uh, Out of the Easy again by Rudis Petty's. The one up there is signed by her and I got it for free from an event that I went to that I participated in and she gave all the participants a signed book. Um, but this was my personal copy that I bought on my own. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin. The Fallen in Our Stars. An Abundance of Catherines and Paper Towns, which I have yet to finish. We have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, which I have yet to True Love Gave to Me. Twelve Holiday Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, which is a memoir. It's just over here because it fit. <laughs> Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. And then The 39 Clues by Rick Riordan. True Believer by Eric Hoffer. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. And The Star Won't Go Out. Alright, so these are all my non-favorite classics. So all of these are by height. This is how the top half is. That's the bottom half. I'll go ahead and start up here. And Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Uh, Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Frankenstein by Marie Shelley. Anne Frank's Tales from the Secret Annex. Where the Red Fern Goes by Winston Wilson Rawls. The Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Three Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Cadden. And Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. 
Now over to here, we have A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway, Night by Eli Wiesel, David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, The Hunchback in Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingle, Island of the Blue Dolphins by Simone O'Dell, I'm sorry I forgot their first name, and The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. So that's all the classics, and now we move on up here. So up here we have this owl container that I got for Christmas with a bunch of tea lights inside. Over here we have another candle, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, which was another gift I got. And also up there is my 3DS case. Ta-da! Here we have the young adult section, I guess. So we have Divergent and Four by Veronica Roth. Um, as well as another copy of Divergent. This is like my young adult um, non-series. Well, there are three of these are in the series, but you know. Um, and then Looking for Alaska by John Green. Because those were the like only kind of standalone-ish novels other than these. So, yes. Here we have my Rainbow Rowell section. So we have Lion Line, Carry On, Fangirl, and Eleanor and Park, all of which I love. Fire and The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Here we have my Shakespeare slash poetry section. Othello, Julie, Caesar, Macbeth, Hamlet, and Midsummer's Night Dream. Henry V and another version of Othello. Then we have completed stories of Edgar Allan Poe and then the Harvard Classics Collector's Edition of Marlowe Shakespeare. Then, then down there is The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. All right, you can't really see here, but this is kind of the mass market paper paperback section. So we have It and Cujo, both by Stephen King. Then we have The Fellowship of the Ring and The Hobbit by Tolkien. The Giver by Lois Lowry, or Lois Lowry, however you want to say it. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. The Martian by Andy Weir. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith. And Prejudice and Zombies, Sense and Sensibility, and Sea of Monsters. Green Play by Sid Field. And From Script to Screen, which is by multiple editors. Um, Highlighter and pencil, so if I'm reading at night, I can highlight and annotate. I do write in my books most of the time. So, to the far left, we have the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series box set that I got for Christmas. The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian, all by Rick Riordan. I have two movies, Do the Right Thing, which is Spike Lee, which is, I think it's one of my favorite movies of all time. The Iron Giant. Completely different, but they're both there because I ordered them on Amazon at the same time. I have a wand that I made on my own. So, that's pretty rad. Harry Potter series, Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Prisoner of Azkaban, non-US version, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The Goblet of Fire and the Order of the Phoenix, my Gryffindor headband, the five books in the Percy Jackson series again that I write in. I got from the used bookstore for pretty cheap. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Demigod Files, and the Heroes of Olympus series, which is the Lost Hero, the Son of Neptune, the Mark of Athena, the House of Hades, and the Blood of Olympus. Down here is my mythology slash books that couldn't place anywhere else. So I have my Shakespeare Encyclopedia, The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson, and 25s by Michael Petre. And here's the mythology section, Mythology for Dummies, Myths by Anna Turnbill, I believe. Percy Jackson's Greek Gods, Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes, Mythology, Myths, Legends, and Fantasies. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Uh, the Gods of Olympus by Barba. Grzowski, The Science of Monsters by Matt Kaplan, The Iliad and the Odyssey, both by Homer, The Epicycle by Sophocles, and The Metamorphosis by Ovid, or Ovid, Eight Great Tragedies, which is Shakespeare mixed with Greek mythology, Lost Books of the Odyssey by Zachary Mason, The Oracle Betrayed by Fisher, The Red Pyramid, and Magnus Chase, both by Rick Riordan, and then Pegasus, and then my Kindle's on top of that, where I have a bunch of classics. Sorry if I seemed really rushed, but my camera's about to die. There's some dream catchers and my uh, Wind Waker poster again. Thank you guys so much for watching this long book tour, bookshelf tour, <laughs> and I will see you guys next time.